What is happening, everybody? Joe from Joe's Golden Garage. I know I've been dropping a lot of update videos this week. Um, and of course, the new bins, uh, which I guess I'm going on two weeks come Monday. A um, couple of people have reached out and asked me how the bins is doing. The bins is doing great. Um, you know, it, I mean, it is just unbelievably clean and the paint is unbelievably uh, shiny and in such good condition to be original. Um, I mean, it, it's the best paint job on any Mercedes I've had. And this thing's 23 years old. This is just unbelievable. Uh, cruise control works. I love that. I didn't have cruise control on my uh, last Mercedes, the white diesel, the white 95. Cruise didn't work. That was very common on those. W124s, if you find one with working cruise control, you found something special. Um... But things uh, I need to work on, I've got head, I've got uh, sunroof headliner issues going on right here. As you can see, I've just got it kind of pinched and tucked up there. Uh, the rear regulator for that window broke. I mean, it made a loud pop when it broke. So uh, that window is no longer operable. Uh, but that's all right. I got three others that work. Um, but other than that, I mean, you know, the, the new Michelin's giving a smooth ride. Um, I'm getting, I'm, I'm just now running my first full tank of uh, diesel and uh, clocking my mileage. So we'll see what kind of miles per gallon I end up with uh, at the pump. Um, this is kind of my daily route, 60, 60 to 65 on the secondary road. So I'm hoping for some pretty decent fuel economy. Um, the diesel engine, it you know, it's got good interstate power. Uh, it really will go down the interstate very well. But it is, this car is a lot slower in town, stop and go, than my 95. And it's probably just because this is a bigger car, heavier car. I haven't looked up the differences to see how much more the W210 weighs over the W124, but uh, yeah, my W124 felt like I was flying <laughs> all the time. Zero to 20, zero to 30, zero to 40, whatever. This car, you gotta be a lot, little more patient with. It's a little, you know, it still rolls with, uh, you know, the light turn screen, you can still, you know, kind of get a jackrabbit start and get ahead of the guy next to you or leave the people behind you. But, you know, you're giving it all it's got. I mean, the guy in the Camry next to you, all he's got to do is just, you know, put it to the floor and he will roast my ass. <laughs> but it's, uh, I'm going to speed the cruise up to about 65. Does that fairly easily. Um, like I said, it's uh, it's a better performer at freeway speeds than uh, stop and go traffic. So, but I'm enjoying it, man. Loving it. Got cold AC. I'm enjoying the Bluetooth stereo. Um, you know, again, the new Michelin's. The engine is just runs like a dream. It glows uh, very fast in the morning. You know, the glow plug light glows real fast. It starts instantly. Uh, so I feel like I've got good, strong uh, glow plugs, and and uh, I know the injectors were replaced. Um, I would like to see, I'm entertaining those Monarch injectors. They're more of a performance injector that might give this thing a little more go, but I think they're very expensive. I need to check into that. Um... Other than that, everything's good. Let's throw on the lights. A little dark. Uh, yeah, everything's good so far. Uh, you know, two weeks in, I've put a thousand miles on her. And, uh, and yeah, everything's going great. Actually, I've put more than a thousand. Well, about a thousand. Yeah. So, um, yeah, nothing else to report that I can think of, really. 
just that window in the back kind of broke on me but at least it's staying up and not slipping down um sunroof shade got to work on oh and the sunroof is a little catchy you know it kind of gets stuck sometimes you got to help it along but i have all the parts to rebuild it so i'll be doing that at some point uh but other than that everything's going good um so anyway y'all have a good weekend uh, like subscribe comment please comment i read all comments and respond to almost all of them all of them i get notification for i do um you know anything you can do to help generate uh activity on the channel that's just you know helps me be able to bring more content and buy more cars oh that's what i was going to talk about auction i spent four hours doing online auction this week and I was so, so close picking up a Lexus um, ES330. It was an 05. It had 180,000 miles. It was in really good condition for its age. Um, but um, I pulled the Carfax on it. It's two owner, no accident, but it didn't have much service history. It only had eight service records. And, you know, 180,000 miles, I was hoping to see a little more. Uh, but uh, it sold for 2050 bucks, and I bid 2100 but I did it online, and I was bidding against somebody that was there on the floor, and the hammer dropped as soon as I clicked my bid. So my name showed up on the screen, and then a line went through it, crossing me out. So I lost it 50 by 50 bucks. Now, I mean, he, the other person could have bid against me again, but I mean, it was well worth $3,000, 3500 You know, it, it was a nice ES3, uh, 330. Uh, it was uh, 05, yeah. Um, but yeah, man, I was so bummed about that. Um, I also bid on a 07 Volvo Cross Country Wagon that was just beautiful, um, immaculate condition. Um, the bids went crazy on it and it went higher than I felt that it was really worth. Um, and then get this 06 uh, Mercedes E350, so the W211 chassis. Um, I pulled the Carfax on it. It's it's right there. Um, I, I ought to video flipping through it. It has eight accidents. It has great service history. There's 33 service records on there. But the car has been in eight accidents. <laughs> I have never seen a car in a Carfax with that many wrecks on it before. I mean, it's literally hilarious. So anyway, uh, I thought about bidding on that one, but they couldn't even get a bid. So it was a no sale. So anyway, <laughs> I may have to go see that car in person before I bid on it. But anyway, y'all have a good one. Like, subscribe, comment, and I appreciate y'all. Y'all have a good weekend.